Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to a tutorial. Now in this how-to, I am going to teach you how to install mods, specifically how to install and use the Pose Player for Sims 3. Now basically the Pose Player allows you to go ahead and position your sim in specific poses so that you can get screenshots or photos or for whatever other reason that you want to put your sims in a specific pose. So right now we are basically um, just looking at a screen with a sim in an open lot. You can do this absolutely anywhere in the sims game but for instructional purposes I decided just use an empty lot. Now we're actually going to start off pretty basic and what I'm going to do is show you exactly where and how to download the mods folder that you're going to need in your Sims 3 files and then also where to get the pose player and then we'll switch back over to the game so I can show you how to actually use it. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go to this web page. It is the game help for installing Sims 3 package files, setup, and files for mods from modthesims.info. I will actually just go ahead and put this link into the description below for you. Um, so what you'll want to do if you don't already have a mods folder set up on your computer, you're going to want to go to this page. And instead of creating all the individual folders that you need, this is great because it gives you a ready-made framework setup zip. So all you have to do is download this and place it into your Electronic Arts Sims 3 folder. So um, I already have one created, but I'm just going to go ahead and go through the download process so you can see everything from start to finish. So you're going to hit download and then it should pop up right down here in your browser or on your desktop or in your downloads folder, depending on how you have your um, web browser set up. So for me, um, I can just show you, it actually goes in, into my downloads folder here. So we have the framework set up. It is a zip file. All right, so you can actually um, un go ahead and unzip this, or I usually just double click on it and it's unzipped for me. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but um, so there is this mods folder. And if you click on it, you're going to see that there is an overrides folder, a packages folder, and a resource.cfg. So those are the three things you're going to need, but um, you actually need this mods folder too. So the easiest way to do it is to just keep this window open and then go ahead and go into your documents. Um, most people's documents is on the C drive, but I actually have mine pointing to my D drive instead. So where mine says D, yours is going to say C. Um, so you're basically going to go into your C drive, users, and then your documents. Or you might just have a straight link to your documents folder somewhere. And then you're going to have an electronics arts folder. Ignore the EA games, that's for The Sims 2. But the electronic art folder you should have on your computer if you have Sims 3 installed. So when you open that, there's the Sims 3 folder and then all these files. And some of you might be familiar with them. This is where you're downloads and custom content and saves and everything are kept but in case you're not familiar with it um, just sort of ignore all of this for right now basically what we're doing here is we are taking this mods folder that we downloaded from the zip file and you can copy it or just drag it right over into your sims 3 folder now you see mine is already here because i already have it created and i have those same three files the overrides the packages and the resource.cfg Okay, so that is step one. If you already have this folder set up, then you don't need to know this. <laughs> All right, so next, I'm going to leave this mods folder just open here for a second. Um, the second page we're going to go to is also from Mod The Sims, and this is the Pose Player. So, of course, if you want the Pose Player, you'll have to come here to download it. And again, I will put this link in the description for you as well. So you're basically going to go uh, scroll down. You can read the install instructions, but of course, that's what this tutorial is for. So I will go ahead and explain everything for you. Um, but what we want from this page are the files. So you're going to click right here where it says files. And this is going to give you three different options. Um, the first one is the one that you want. This is the pose player. The next one is the pose kit. That is if you are a creator and want to create your own poses. And then there's also the pose pack creator down here. Um, but we don't need those. All we need is actual pose player because we're going to use the in-game poses that were already created by EA for us. Um, obviously, you can download separate poses, but just to keep things simple, we're just going to use the in-game ones that are already built in. So we, either way, we want the pose player, and this is a RAR file, so go ahead and click on that and the same thing it'll download down here or to your desktop or to your downloads wherever you have it you can click on this to open it directly but uh, for this tutorial i'm going to go back to my downloads folder and open it for you and it looks like it is right there now this is a rar file dot rar 
and depending on what type of opener you have, you are going to want to extract the files. Um, I actually use free RAR opener. You can just type in free RAR opener and go ahead and download that. Doesn't cost a thing and it works just great. Or if you have the official one already, you can use that as well. But basically you're going to want to open it and you're going to want to click and extract. And mine is set up to extract into my downloads file, um, my downloads folder, which is totally fine. So we're going to go ahead and hit extract. And what that is going to do is just turn that RAR into a package for us. Now the package, as you could probably tell, you're going to go back to your mods folder, which again is under your C users, documents, electronic arts, Sims 3, and the mods folder that we just created. So within that, you're going to open the packages. And mine's already here. It's already been done. But what you'll want to do is just go ahead and grab the package that we just extracted and paste it over in here or just drag it straight over there. Again, I'm not going to do that because I already have the post player installed. Um, I also have the home opener and the Overwatch mods, but again, you don't need those. Those are just the mods that I have. Any mod that you'll have, you'll want to put in this packages folder here. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. So now assuming you have everything in the correct folder, um, you can go ahead and load your Sims game. Again, I have mine already preloaded here and it doesn't affect anything because I already had the post player installed on my computer. So when I opened the Sims, it already detected that mod for me. If you're just downloading it for the first time, you're going to want to restart your Sims game if it's already open and that way your game will actually read the mod before setting up the files for you. So now we're here in good old Sunset Valley with my, my Joven Howl. If you watch my Let's Play, he is one of my characters. However, he is actually um, on his own lot. This is a completely separate save file, so he might look a little different to you. But anyways, we're just using him as our model today, and he's definitely facing the wrong way. So one thing you'll definitely want to do with the post player is have your cheats on so that you can pick up and move your sim as well if you'd like. So we're going to do our shift Control c testing cheats enabled space true and that just opens your cheats file or your cheats unlock and then um, I want to turn move objects on so I, that I can actually pick up Joven and put him where I want so that's move objects one word space on and so now if we go into buy or build mode I can actually pick him up and just turn him or place him wherever I want and I want him to face the front of the lot for right now okay so next we're gonna want to actually grab our pose player and that is also under buy mode now it is sorted by function you can go to um, decor and then miscellaneous and pose player if installed correctly will show up right here and it only costs one simoleon which is great anybody can get that and you're just going to click on the post player and just drop it anywhere close to your sim. Um, just make sure it's on the same lot that you're using. It could really be anywhere, but I'm going to put it next to Joven just for demonstration purposes. And when we go back into live mode, this post player is going to stay right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into um, build mode just to build a little makeshift room here so that we have a nice backdrop to look at Joven and um, go ahead and give him some fun poses to do. So I'm just going to create sort of like a makeshift wall slash studio here for us. <laughs> um, and then if you're using this for like screensho screenshots and such, you're probably going to want a nice blank canvas anyways, especially if you're editing this in Photoshop. So I'm going into my wall coverings and I'm just going to place a nice white wall right here. So we are going to go ahead and click on the pose player. And there's two options. There's pose by name or my list. Now my list, you can create a list of your favorite poses, but for now I don't have any stored, so we're going to go to pose by name. And then what's going to happen, I've got the game paused right now. If it's in live mode, this will happen automatically, but if you're paused, you have to hit play for that to actually start. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. And now this dialog comes up, pose name, and you're supposed to enter a pose name. Okay, so now we're going to pull up the website that has the poses already listed for us. Now, I, again, I will link this into the description as well. I did not create this. This is something I just found in Google, um, Google Docs. Somebody actually went ahead and listed out all of the official poses. 
so you can scroll down and see there are many 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 on here and these you don't need to download separate poses these are already pre-installed with your game these are just the basic poses that the sims will do in game normally depending on their mood and situation so we have 528 of them so we'll just pick whichever one you want and you're just gonna have to type this into the game so I am playing sims in window mode so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, let's pick let's do something funny. I think any any pose will work on any um, sex male or female so we'll do a pregnancy idol rub belly underscore X I don't know if he's gonna rub his own belly or what we'll see what happens so let let's just hit, hit accept and play and okay so he's actually not pregnant he doesn't have a belly there but he's just um, if he was pregnant, that's where his belly would be <laughs> sticking out. So he is doing that pose. All right, so let's just try another pose here. Again, we're going to cancel that one. We're going to pause so Joven doesn't run away. And let's do... Let's have him throw up, okay? So we're going to hit our pose player, pose by name. Hit play here, and then so let's enter this one, um, the throw up. So it's A underscore buff underscore throw up underscore X, accept, and play. All right, so there he goes. Job is not feeling so well. Oh, and he just vomited all over our clean set. I'm actually back with a second part of this tutorial i was going to end it here but i decided to go ahead and download some actual sims poses created by other simmers so that you can see how to do that as well because it is quite a bit different um main thing you have to do is just figure out where to download them and a great place to start is modthesims.info. They have a ton of poses and animations, and you do have to register. It is free. You can just go ahead and register and be able to browse and download these. And the registration... Re Ah, I can't talk. The registration process actually has you um, answer like a little secret word so that you can register to prove that you're a human and not a robot. And it is, um, it asks like what is the very first Sims 2 expansion pack. I'm not sure if the question changes from person to person, but it took me a, a few minutes to figure it out, but it was called University, so that is the secret code that you'll need to get through. Um, if it asks you a different question, obviously you could just Google or ask Wikipedia the answer. Um, but anyway, so we are at this modthesims.info page and we're looking through the Sims 3 poses and animations. There's going to be 251 of them and you're, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and scroll through and see what there is and download them so that we can go ahead and put them into the game and you can get an idea as well. So there's a couples pose pack, which is kind of cool. Um, a summertime one I mean there's so many to choose from I don't even know where I'm gonna start so I don't know there's some more couples poses which I think is really cute um, there's some close-up poses a cleaning floor animation oh my gosh so like this is how people make Sims movies I always wondered I mean I knew it was poses but I didn't really understand the extent of it so oh my gosh oh my gosh so many so many of these um, know what to choose <laughs> I really don't know what to choose six male modeling poses here we go this works okay so I'm doing this for the first time so we're gonna learn together real quick but basically this is the same um, the same type of format that we used when we downloaded the mods pack at the beginning of this video so we're gonna click on files and it's another rar file dot rar so it, you should have the extractor if not you could download free rar opener um, again it, it's free um, so let's go ahead and download this and we're going to bring this up and my RAR opener automatically recognized it. So let's go ahead and extract it to the downloads folder and you can extract it to any folder that you want. So here is the bossy package. Okay, so this was the RAR that we downloaded. The RAR opener turned it into a package. You should remember that from earlier in the video. So then you're going to go into your documents and my documents are going to look a little bit different than yours because I have mine routed to my D drive. So just ignore this part. Um, <laughs> wait, where am I going? I don't even know. So you're basically going to find your documents folder and this part should look the same, electronic arts, the Sims 3 mods. 
and we're going to want to go into the packages because this is a package and we're going to grab this bossy pack and put that in there okay so now we have the bossy pack inside of our mods folder along with the pose player you don't need these two those are just my um, other mods you just need the pose player and the bossy package so we have the player and then the poses to go with it hopefully that makes sense so we can close out of all this and I don't have my Sims game open so we'll go ahead and open it from scratch. I will probably um, pause and just reopen or pause and restart this part once I have the game loaded. Um, I will show you once we get to the part that shows what mods are installed so that you can see exactly what it should look like on your end. But you know, you know this part, just start your launcher as normal and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back just for a second here. So once you get to this um, second part before you actually load the game, it tells you the mod scripts found. So again, we have the pose player up here and then the bossy package that I just downloaded right here. So just hit accept, obviously, and then go ahead and start your game. Alright guys, so we are back and this time I actually went ahead and moved Joven into a home and just to do a quick recap here since this is a new game that I just opened, um, what you're going to want to do is go into your testing, um, into your cheats screen which is the shift control c you're going to want to type testing cheats enabled true now this part isn't necessary but if you want to be able to pick up and move your sim you do you do need to actually go through and put those cheats on and do the move object space on that way when we go into buy mode we can actually pick up joven and put him where we want um, and i want him to sort of face me so there we go so this is just a good little spot to do this um, and again, we're going to go into our sort by function, decor, and miscellaneous, and there's the pose player, so we're going to go ahead and put it right there, and let's go back into live mode, and this time when we click on it, it gives us an option to select pose from list, so hopefully this brings up those poses that we just installed, and yay, okay, so yeah, easy enough, I figured it would be. So we have a pose player and select a pose, and this is cool because it actually gives you a little image. So again, these are not poses that are pre-installed with the game. These are poses and animations that somebody went ahead and created. There's probably endless files that you can find to download. So pick what you want and the same principles will apply. So the first one is adjusting a tie. We can walk with a hand in the pocket. We could punch the left arm. We could lean against a desk, lean against a wall. This is really cool. I don't know if you actually need the desk and the wall in here, so we'll figure that out. But um, for now, let's just do an easy one. Let's walk with right hand in pocket. And okay, so it's a, it's a pose. He's not actually doing an animation. I guess there is a difference between the two. Maybe that's why I was confused earlier, but yeah, he is posing like this. So now you can go into your tab mode and you can, oops, if I can get my camera angles, right. And you could just take your picture and use this for a screenshot. So this actually is pretty handy because I might use this for my screenshot. So let's just zoom in a little bit and then hit C to capture. And there you go. So now you have a pose with a screenshot and you can do pretty much whatever you want. If you download those couple poses, I'm sure it gives you the option to click on both of them. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, but I don't wanna take the time right now to put a second sim in here. Um, this video is already pretty long, but I'm sure you'll get the gist of it. So let's stop this pose. We'll pause so he doesn't disappear. And let's just, um, out of curiosity, pick one of these that has an object involved and see if he actually goes and finds one or if one magically pops up. I have no idea. So let's try the leaning against a desk and let's hit play and just see what happens. Okay, so you definitely are going to need a desk. So this is probably where you have to get a little creative. Um, I mean, we could probably find a desk real quick. There might be one on the property already, but just for argument's sake, let's just go buy one super quickly here. And so, yeah, we're going to place the desk. Um, so yeah, definitely you're going to want your move objects cheat on because that way we can just kind of put it exactly where we want. And then, well, he's sitting in midair, so it makes sense to put a chair underneath him. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to test it again out of curiosity to see if he just poses in the objects already or if you still have to go through and like tell him what to do. Um, so this chair actually doesn't even look high enough. I don't know, maybe in the right angle you can't tell. Um, you probably can't tell in the right angle. But, you know, you get the idea. You can play around with these. So, again, you could go into your tab mode. Oh, we have to go live first. You can go into your tab mode 
and do your screenshot. And so that's basically it. His legs kind of got off, so obviously you won't want to do that. Um, you guys can play on your own and figure it out. So now that the desk and the chair is there, though, I am curious to see. Let's go ahead and have him stand up again. We're going to have him stop the pose. And we'll pause. Um, I'm going to move this chair a little bit because it is clipping into the desk. And I'm just holding Alt so I can freely move it while I click on it. And let's go back to the... Oops. Well, let's just move the pose player over here. It doesn't have to be exactly in the shot. It could be anywhere. So we'll go back to live mode. And I want to see if he will just... We can use the current pose because it's already there. We don't have to pick another one. I want to see if he'll just go sit at the chair or if he will just do it where he's standing. Yeah. All right, so you definitely have to do a lot of playing around. He's through a window. This is cool. I wonder if this is how people, like, get weird little interactions to use for their memes and such. I don't know, but, I mean, there's <laughs> there's probably endless possibilities. This is really, really cool. But since we have this set up, let's just go ahead and pick him up and drag him where we want him. And there you go. All right, we'll do one more pose so you guys get the idea, and then we'll end the tutorial. So let's go ahead and pause, cancel that pose. Let's click on here and select another pose. Now, just want to point out these options. So again, use current pose. We'll just keep doing the same one. Pose by name is where you actually enter a name like we did with that docs file. that will be linked below. My list is where you can add these poses, any of these poses to a list so you have them handy in case you want to use them over and over again. Or select pose from list, which is going to pick one from this new package that we just downloaded. So let's this time do, um, let's have him punch his left palm. All right. And we're going to go into buy mode to move him because he's kind of <laughs> in the middle of the desk there. Let's put him in a different setting over here. Um, that's probably good. And we'll go into our tab. Oh, we have to go back live. Don't forget that part. Tab, and we're back into our camera mode. And there we go. So he is punching his hand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a pose, guys. And we'll take our screenshot. And there you go. I hope that clarified things a bit. Um, if you have any questions, of course, just drop them in the comments below. And if you have any other tips or tricks that you want to let us know, again, drop them in the comments below. If you enjoy this series and you want to see more tutorials, just tell me what you want to see. I will do my best to create a video. If it's something I know how to do and if it's something I don't know how to do, we'll learn together, which is fun as well. And if you like what you see, please, please, please subscribe to this channel. I'm still growing. It'll help me so much. I would really appreciate it. And you can find me on any of the social medias. Just type in my YouTube name, Simmerkey. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere your heart desires. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.